PK in the universe and I am back again and today I'm here to talk about these Capcom collections on the PSP and I want to talk about of course the Evercade EXP which was the subject of a previous video I did not that long ago so yeah let's uh, talk about that and I'm gonna try to answer the question is do these games with a PSP compare even to the Evercade EXP we're gonna go over that uh, we're gonna talk about yeah these games the Evercade EXP and how these compare and contrast. So here we go. So let's talk about these collections. You got Capcom Classics Collection Remixed and you have Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded. These are two games that each have respectfully 19 to 20 games on each um, UMD disc. They're physical media unlike the Evercade EXP and you can get them between 10 to 20 bucks give or take depends on where you buy it i got uh, i can't remember how much i paid for this i bought this a lot of years ago this i recently got for 15 bucks on ebay so obviously with these two collections you do have more than 18 games which is what you get on the evercade exp that's coming out soon so but are they even good are these even decent games well it depends on what your particular preference of games is you know and there's a lot of games that are really similar. For example, there's Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts on one of these collections. And so, you know, which the Evercade EXP, I believe, just has Ghouls and Ghosts. So maybe that doesn't necessarily matter to you. Maybe Ghouls and Ghosts is the only one you really want to play. But if you want to play these other ones, maybe, you know, get these collections. Absolutely, if you have a PSP already. Also, there's three different versions of Street Fighter on this collection, plus there's the original Street Fighter on this collection. It does have the Hyper Fighting, which I believe I think is the same one that is on the Evercade EXP. I'm sure somebody in the comments section will correct me on that. Uh, so there's a lot of Street Fighters. What does it not have? What do these collections not have? These collections do not have the three Mega Man games, which are going to be on the Evercade EXP, it doesn't have 1944, but it does have 1941, as well as 42 and 43, which are going to be on the Evercade EXP. I don't know if the exact 1940s, 2 and 43, because there's different variants of each game. It also doesn't have Breath of Fire, which is also going to be on the Evercade EXP. But it does have some pretty awesome games. It has some really awesome beat-em-ups, like uh, Magic Sword, The King of the Dragons, Knights of the Round, to name a few. There's some really stellar games on these collections. Now you might be thinking to yourself, does having these collections make me want to not buy an Evercade EXP? Honestly, after putting them through their paces, playing them, no, actually it does not dissuade me from buying the Evercade EXP. It has, again, a lot of the same games, but it has its own unique games as well. But there are some upsides and downsides. One of the big upsides about the Evercade EXP is it has the vertical mode or tape mode or whatever it's called. And the PSP also has this. The PSP also has tape mode, but there's some drawbacks to that tape mode as well. For example, if it's a game that only requires one shooting button and, you know, up, down, left, right, yeah, you're fine on tape mode, which is why those Atari Classic Evolved games work great in tape mode. The downside is if you need multiple buttons, it's kind of a bad deal, honestly. And that was a smart move on Blaze's part to put more buttons on the Evercade EXP. So games like 1941 are going to play way better having that extra button. Also, with the PSP, the way you play in tape mode is you would yeah, you'd use your up, down, left, right, and then you would use your trigger button to do that. And this feels kind of awkward, actually, after a while. I don't think this is necessarily the best way to play this, or the most comfortable way. There's also another downside to these PSP collections. Now, there's been some folks in the Evercade community who are pretty hardcore physical media and were very frustrated by the idea that the Evercade EXP was going to get these Capcom games exclusively to it. And some of these people even said this isn't physical media. Well, technically speaking, it is physical media because you don't have to download it from a server. The games are all self-contained in the Evercade EXP. What they really mean is they were mad they didn't get physical, detachable media. Well, that's what this is, but the downside is these are UMDs. UMDs, the downside to UMDs is they have loading time. 
I swear, I don't know what it is, but I feel like the loading times are actually are lower than on this than they are on this. And maybe that's just in my head, I don't know. But I feel like, yeah, this was even worse, honestly, loading times, and the screen was really boring. It was just a black screen with now loading. Whereas this gave you like, you know, a picture of the main character from Strider. Now, of course, the Evercade EXP, you'll be able to play it on your TV using a mini HDMI cable, I believe. The PSP doesn't have HDMI, but you can get the, um, what do you call it? Is this called component or composite? I can't remember. It's one of those things, honestly. Yeah, I have one of these cords. I got it for like $5 at a thrift store. I don't know how much these go for nowadays, but yeah, this is convenient. And if you want to play tape mode, well, what can I say? There are ways. But anyways, yeah, so there's some yeah good games on here on these collections. I would not say these two collections right here necessarily fully replace what you get on the Evercade EXP. Again, it's a modern system. If you're in the Evercade ecosystem already, or are gonna get an Evercade system. The best way I think to look at these, if you happen to own a PSP and have these collections, is these are a great way to play Capcom games while you're waiting for the Evercade EXP to come out. Cause there's a lot of people who are again, really excited for it. I'm gonna hold off on it. I still have not changed my mind, but it's great that I have these collections to play these games now. I think they play great on handheld. I've plugged it into a TV. And yeah, it looks okay, it looks okay. I prefer to play them on the go because that's how they were really designed to be played. I mean, well, originally they were designed for totally other consoles, but you know, these particular versions were designed to play on the go, of course, is what I mean. Man, I can't say enough about like Knights of the Round and King of Dragons. Those games are just freaking awesome. Um, Ghouls and Ghosts is hard no matter what you play it on. Um, i trying to think what else here. Final Fight. Gotta love Final Fight, man. Final Fight is something else. I really want to get that uh, Game Boy Advance Mini Mix or whatever that has Mighty Final Fight on it. I'd love to see that come to an Evercade cart, honestly. Mighty Final Fight. Mighty Final Fight does not get talked about nearly enough for as good as it is. So anyways, these are my little Capcom collections. These collections are great to play while you wait for that Evercade EXP to come. So... Those are my thoughts on these particular collections. These are really good collections, but again, the wait time with the loading is really annoying. Now, some people, I know somebody's gonna chime in with like, oh, just, you know, get the ISOs and from the internets and uh, hack your PSP. It's like, yeah, I get it. I'm aware of emulation exists. I'm aware I can do these things and it would make my time a lot easier and it would be a less hassle. But at the end of the day, this is a video talking about out-of-the-box solutions. I'm not talking about, you know, going on a computer and getting ROMs and stuff like that. I mean, I have other devices for that anyways, so... But anyways, yeah, those are my thoughts. I just wanted to chime in because I know, I know somebody's going to make that comment in the comment section because they probably won't get far enough in this video to get to that point. So I just wanted to say that at the very end, even though I know people didn't watch that far. But here nor there! <laughs> Anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you have either one of these Capcom collections? What's your favorite Capcom game? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.